A Flint citizen has filed a complaint against Governor Rick Snyder, claiming that the governor broke the law when he approved $2 million in taxpayer money for his own criminal legal defense stemming from the Flint water crisis. Carrie Weber filed the complaint in Ingham County Circuit Court on Tuesday. She's asking the circuit court judges to approve a one-person grand jury investigation of the governor. The complaint alleges the governor used public money for private use. Mark Brewer, an attorney with Goodman Acre, says that act by Snyder is misconduct in office. We're unaware of any governor who's ever done anything remotely resembling this. Sign a personal, a contract for services personal to himself, bypassing the entire procurement process, bypassing the attorney general, bypassing the administrative board solely for his personal benefit. And as the court conducts its investigation, if it turns up other potential violations of the law, it can follow those as well. I've got a 16-year-old with permanent liver damage. I've got a husband who is literally, God forbid, a walking heart attack. And this is how Flint is right now. So when you're waiting for friends and family and your pets to die, but don't sweat it, we're really not helping you, but you can help cover my attorney fees. Somewhere you have to draw the line in the sand. And this is my point. Weber's daughter, husband, and five pets are all dealing with some health issues as a result of drinking the lead-contaminated water. The water line to her house has been replaced, but Weber says she won't be able to use it for another two to six months due to ongoing testing. Her attorney, Mark Brewer, was the chairman of the Michigan Democratic Party for 18 years. When asked by reporters today, Brewer said that the announcement was not politically motivated.